The NR Lounge was one of Perry Hall's finer establishments near Don's house. They were more than happy to let us use their setting. I guess they thought being on the big screen would be great publicity. At least that's what we told them. And uh, there's uh, Dave Getty sitting at the bar. Down at the end of the bar, I believe it's his father-in-law. The leader of this musical group, standing there wearing the British-style clothing, calls himself Lon Talbot, which is a combination of the name of actor Lon Chaney Jr. and of his character's name, Larry Talbot, in the 1941 universal horror classic, The Wolfman. The bartender is played by Ann Hanks. Ann and her husband, Ira, owned and operated the Ann Ar Lounge. Unfortunately, she passed away in late 2013. I attended Ann's viewing, and much to my surprise and delight, there was a table in the room on which photos of Ann from the Alien Factor were displayed. A DVD player and monitor playing her scene were also on the table. Obviously, appearing in this movie at her place of business meant a lot to Ann. Okay, here we are in the bar scene. Uh, that's me right there on the base, Glenn Barnes slash Glenn Ruby. Uh, and my roommate in the back, Jack Campbell, is actually playing on a toy drum set, trying to make it look as real as possible. I hate to backtrack, but I wanted to mention a couple more things about the bar scene that I didn't get to talk about earlier. Undoubtedly, you noticed the two young ladies who were dancing while the band was playing. The girl who was standing on the left is Kathy Oldacre, who now lives in South Carolina. Years later, her brother Dave would work on the crew of some of Don Dollar's movies, most notably during the later years when Don and Joe Ripple operated Time Warp films. That song the band was singing called Maybe Someday was privately pressed on a 45 RPM record on the Mekon Records label. The song was actually on the flip side with a song called Moby Shark on the A side of the record. Both were written by Lon Talbot and performed by him and a group called Atlantis. The record actually existed before The Alien Factor was made and since director Don Dohler was acquainted with Lon Talbot, Don thought having a band scene would help to stretch out the running time of the movie. And I'm sure Lon Talbot enjoyed the notoriety of having his song used in a motion picture. 